Trying to find a hair salon in China is harder than looking for a needle in a haystack. There's no wonder that here on YouTube you find a lot of videos like Over a decade ago, a Congolese couple named Martha McQuena and Paul Levy moved to China for work. After some time, Martha opened the very first African hair salon in China. I'm Martha Boati McQuena. I'm from Congo, Kinshasa. I'm the one that opened this African salon here in China, Beijing the first official salon here. Truth, however, is in most of the cities, such as mine, the Nanjing city, there are still no salons for our type of hair as of today. In today's video, I travel about 30 kilometers just to get my hair done in China by a friend. You to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. We can be true, we can be true. I want you to see what I see in us. Something so real, something so real. I want you to see that. This is a love that we both feel, that we both feel. And how will we ever know if the love will ever grow without trying, without trying? It's 9 p.m. now. I'm very tired. My hair is done, but I have another 30 kilometers to travel back to school. It took me only three hours to get the hair done, but the hassle that comes along with it makes me very exhausted and this is just one of the little things that makes me miss home, where there are hair salons, where hair salons are just walking distances from our homes. My name is AC and this is my life as a black girl living in China.